Welcome to my channel. I'm Krista. I love beauty, cookies, and having fun, so if you're into any of that, you will definitely like it here. I'm also currently eight months pregnant, so I've been doing some pregnancy content, and soon we'll be doing some baby content. I'm so excited. So if any of that sounds like fun to you, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button for new vlogs and lifestyle videos every Tuesday. This week, I wanted to share with you some winter favorites, some things that I have been using and loving over the past couple months, but I thought it would be fun to do it vlog style, so I'm going to take you around with me for my day and show you my favorite things. Let's go! Okay, my first favorite is YouTube workouts. I've never been much of a gym girl, but I love staying fit and I love staying home. So I've been doing YouTube workouts for years. I have a whole playlist of my favorite YouTube workouts, but I wanted to share my most recent find. And that is Lily Sabri. Also, yes, Brittany Vassar's videos are hilarious and Jessica Braun is awesome and yeah. Anyways, Lily Sabri. Honestly, her thumbnails can be a little much for me, but her workouts are fantastic. These are the ones that I did this morning. I'll put in some footage of me working out, although I did have to modify a little bit. But I love how positive she is. I love how motivational she is. I also love that she has a ton of videos that are just 10 minutes long because I like to take different 10 minute videos and splice them together for my workout. So like 10 minutes of arms, 10 minutes of legs, 10 minutes of abs, that kind of thing. I find for me, I don't need much more than that. And her videos get you a really good workout in just 10 minutes. Also, she has the cutest dog. Oh, he just left. Okay, there he is. Uh, I'm not even a dog person and I just love watching him. Ah, he's the cutest. So I'll link her workouts down below. Um, they're great, you should try them. The next favorite I wanted to mention is the dry brush. Welcome to my bathroom. Okay, here it is. This is my dry brush. It is fantastic. So basically what this is, is it's a brush that you use to brush your skin. It helps with exfoliation and it also helps with circulation and some people say cellulite. I don't know, jury's, jury's out on that one. All you do is you take it and you brush your whole body. You brush everything towards your heart. And this is especially good in the winter because, oh lord, does it exfoliate. The first time I used this, there was like a dust cloud of skin around me. Is that disgusting? Yeah, that's kind of disgusting. But anyways, you just do it really quick before you get in the shower and then you wash all that gross dead skin off. And my skin has never looked so good in the winter before. I have been so impressed. I feel like every winter my skin, especially on my legs, gets really scaly and oh, I mean, no matter if I use moisturizer and stuff. So having an exfoliator like this is really nice. Anyways, I'm a big fan. This brush is from Amazon and I think it was $6.50 about, so also very affordable. I will link this one down below. While we're in here, let's do some skincare favorites too. First up, this Skin Therapy Oil by Palmer's. I've been using it since before I was pregnant. You can see I'm almost to the bottom, but it has taken me a long time to go through and it is so good. I never thought I would be an oil person because I have combination skin and the skin on my face is like pretty oily to begin with, but this stuff is so great because it soaks into your skin so quickly and it leaves your skin feeling super moisturized. It also kind of smells like chocolate, so I'm not mad about that. I mean, you know that cocoa butter smell, is that chocolate? I don't know, it's delicious. But since I've been pregnant, I've been putting this on my belly and it just feels so good. It's not oily at all, which I like. And so far, so good. My my belly feels moisturized, which is a plus. My other winter skincare favorite is also an oil, which is weird, but let me show you. This rose hip seed oil. I got this on Amazon like a pretty long time ago and I use it all the time and there's still a, well, you can't see, but there's a good amount left. They say that cold pressed rose hip seed oil is supposed to be really good for fading scars and helping with acne. What else? Oh, duh, moisturizing and helping with wrinkles. 
It's amazing. Like I said, I've been using it for a long time and I definitely think I see it helping with fading acne scars, even just overnight. It has been especially helpful since I've been pregnant because I used to use retinols at nighttime, but now since I can't use those, I've been using this at night. But it also absorbs really easily. It doesn't leave your skin feeling greasy, at least not for very long. And it's just really great if you find yourself needing that extra boost of hydration. You can put it on like any little wrinkle on your face and it kind of softens them up and helps to moisturize. Okay, my next favorite is a beauty favorite. It's this gloss by Maybelline. It is called the Lifter Gloss. It's beautiful. I have it in the shade Moon. Let me put it on and show you. And there it is. So as you can see, it's a pretty natural gloss. It's just nice and shiny and it feels so good to wear. It has hyaluronic acid in it, which is an ingredient that pulls moisture into the skin and then seals it in. So it's so comfortable. It feels so good on the lips and it's just Beautiful. I love the shade. And here it is if you want to see it close up. I would do a kissy face, but I don't know how. My lips like disappear. It's like, <laughs> where did they go? Okay, I need a snack. My favorite snack is cookies, but that's all the time, not just in the winter. And here's a little cookie tip. So when I make cookies, I scoop them with a melon baller and then I freeze them. And then you can have cookies whenever you want. In fact, before I was pregnant, Spencer and I would just eat this cookie dough. I mean, Spencer still does, but now it's just tempting me. Okay, this isn't really a snack, but while we're in here, let's talk some favorite winter food. Frozen food. These are some wontons from Costco that we have been loving for the past couple months and for like the past couple years. We just had these beef mandu last night for dinner. Oh, I should have filmed it, but that's what they look like. They're so good. They're stuffed with beef and they're flavorful and oh my gosh, yum. But these mini chicken cilantro wontons are so good and they're so cheap. When they go on sale at Costco, it's like $5.99 for this whole bag. So yeah, a super easy winter meal. Also, these beef mandu are going on sale at Costco next month, so get them on sale, guys. Do it. Don't pay full price. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, I know this is a little ridiculous, but my next favorite is the cat. We bought it a couple of years ago on Fred Meyer Black Friday. The thing that I have been loving about it is we pulled out the, uh, what is this called? The pull out. The pull out. <laughs> because my hips were bugging me when I would sit sideways, my hip would get irritated. So we pulled it out and now it's like having a couch party every night. Do you have anything to say about it, babe? Do yes. you love it as much as me? Because you can do this. <laughs> yes, you can. Oh, all the dust went flying. Oh. And this is how you put it back. What? Boom. Couch. Back to normal. Yeah. It's the best thing ever, you guys. And it wouldn't be a winter favorite if I didn't mention Wormy. I already did a full review on Wormy in a previous video, so I'll link that down below, but he's the best. That's all. Okay, next up, let's talk fashion. Fashion. <laughs> Is it fashion if you wear your pajamas every day? So these have actually been a favorite of mine for a while, but in the winter, well, and spring and fall and sometimes summer when it's cold, I basically live in these leggings. They are the best. These are the Filina, Filina, I don't know, suede leggings. I got them from Costco in a two pack and they are my absolute favorite. They're so soft, they're not see-through. I'm actually wearing an older version of them. The waistband is just normal on these. But here are the newer version that Costco currently sells. They have a wider waistband, which is great, unless you're pregnant. Anyways, these are just the most comfortable leggings ever. I have not worn jeans in like, I don't know, at least a year. I, why would I when I could just wear these all the time? These are my go-to pants. I wear them almost every day and I highly recommend them. 
Oh, and like I said, you can get these in a two pack from Costco for $16.99, I believe. They do go on sale and when they're on sale, they're $12.99 but I have seen them at the lowest price when they go on clearance for like $9.97, which could potentially be coming up because apparently people don't wear leggings in the summer, but I do. My next favorite is super random, but I just thought I would share it with you guys because I was doing the laundry the other day and I just realized how much I love this thing. Here it is. It's not the dryer bottles actually, although they are really great but it's actually this little basket. I feel like it's always the simplest little things that bring me joy, but I got this basket from the Dollar Tree. And every time I do my laundry, I pick it up, I dump the balls in the dryer, and it just makes me so happy. <laughs> I can't explain it. So yeah, go to the Dollar Tree and you can find these cute little gold bins in their storage bin section. They also have them in a square shape too. I just have a few more favorites to share. This one may be even more random than the Dollar Tree bin, so get ready. One day I was sitting in the recliner, sipping my water, trying not to let it spill because the coffee table is way over there. So far, I know. <laughs> Sometimes things seem really far away when you're pregnant. <laughs> so then, Spencer has this ingenious idea. <gasps> What? This is a magnetic cup holder that my uncle Danny gave Spencer for Christmas and he was actually going to use it to put it on the lawnmower so that he could have a drink while he's mowing. Because, you know, luxury. But now I have commandeered it. Um, Uncle Danny, can we get another one of these? Because this is a must have. So then you can have your drink right next to you attached to the lamp by magnet while you sit in the recliner. Is this silly to get excited about? Because I don't think so. And look guys, I know that this may not be the most classy looking decor piece, but I don't care. Last but definitely not least, this humidifier. I cannot tell you how many humidifiers I have had to get rid of because they got moldy. Well, actually I can, two. But this humidifier is the best. The other humidifiers that I had were made by Crane. They're the ones shaped like a teardrop. And the issue with them, hmm, cookie time. The issue with them is that the water reservoir only had a tiny hole that you could use to clean it. And so no matter how much you would empty it out and try to air it out, it would always get dirty in there as far as I could tell and probably moldy. I did some research, I looked around, I found this humidifier by Homacy. When we got it, I think it had a $10 off coupon, so it was like $23 or something like that, but still, even at $32 or $33, still a great price. Here it is and this is why it's the best. This is the water reservoir and you can easily get in there and clean it out. It has a couple of settings, it has Hi, Whew. a lower one, and a sleep one, which I honestly don't know what that does. It also has this cute little light. Oh, where's the light? Hold on. Oh, surprise. I guess you can't really see the light in the daytime when it's bright out. <laughs> but it cycles through these colors. It's on like blue green right now. Another great thing about it is you can also use it as an essential oils diffuser. So you just put your oils right in the top with the water and then you can make things smell good or, you know, aromatherapy, that kind of stuff. Also, it's just cute. Like, isn't that just cute? It makes me happy to see it. They say that in the winter when you turn the heat on, it can really dry everything out, like your nasal passages and give you a sore throat and that kind of stuff, especially when you're sleeping. So it's really good to have a humidifier around. Also, they say that it's supposed to be really good for your skin to keep it hydrated. And when you're pregnant, your skin is super dry. So this has been a lifesaver. Definitely a winter favorite. And those are some of the things that I have been using and loving over the past couple months. I hope this video was fun for you guys just to come around the house with me and see some of my favorites. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below and tell me some of your winter favorites. What have you been loving? Are there TV shows, skincare? Let me know. I'd, I'd love to know. We can always use more TV shows, you know.
Man, it's such a beautiful day today that it almost feels like spring, but I, I bet we still have some cloudy days left here in Seattle. I hope you all are having a great week and I will see you next week in another video. Okay, bye. Cause I know, and you know what we could be. Like a song, like a It's not a favorites video without a cookie. Baby, don't say you don't.